Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang digit problems. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo yung another type of worded problems in algebra which is the digit problems. So, dito sa digit problem, meron tayong concept na ina-apply which is dapat alam natin lahat na sabi given na 2-digit number with y as the 10th digit and x as 1th digit, its value is so original number, let's say, it is equal to 10y plus x. Since nga yung y natin is the 10th digit, imumultiply natin siya sa 10. And then, yung x natin, yung 1th digit, so multiply lang natin siya sa 1 or simply x times 1 or x. So kaya, 10y plus x yung representation natin sa original number. Tapos, meron din tayo minsan na-encounter sa digit problem kung saan ini-interchange daw or nire-reverse yung digit. So kapag ganun, sabi, we can reverse the digit, so the value is, or the reverse number is equal to 10x plus y. So, babalik na rin lang yung position ng x saka y sa original number sa so magiging 10x plus y. So, yung x yung magiging 10s, tapos yung y yung magiging 1s. Okay? So, ito yung concept na i-apply natin kapag magsasolve tayo ng digit problems. So, pwede nyo naman tong extend into 3-digit number and so on. For example, let z be the hundreds. Tapos, y pa rin as tens. Tapos, x pa rin is 1. So, therefore, the number is 100 times z plus 10y plus x. Okay? Pag ni-reverse nyo naman, ito lang i-reverse nyo yung x saka z. So, magiging 100x plus 10y plus z. And so on. So, Ganun lang yung concept sa digit problem. So, para may illustrate natin, ang pag-solve ng digit problems ay, let's try to answer some examples. For the first one, we have, the unit's digit in a two-digit number is one more than twice the tens digit. Find the number if the sum of the digits is seven. Okay, so, let x be the unit's digit or the one's digit, and y be the tens digit. So, therefore, the number or the original number kanina, di ba? Equal siya sa 10y plus x. So, sabi sa first sentence, the unit's digit in a two-digit number is one more than twice the tens digit. So, the unit's digit daw, ano ba yun? x, right? So, is, so, equal one more than. So, one more than twice. So, two times the tens digit, which is yung y. Okay, so dapat marunong kayo mag-transform dito ng algebraic phrase into expression, right? So, naturo ko naman yun sa video ko about translating algebraic phrase into equation. Okay? Next, find the number if the sum of the digits is 7. So, pwede ulit tayong makabuo ng another equation. Sabi kasi, the sum of the digits daw is 7. So, pag inod natin tong x plus y, dapat 7. Okay? So, ngayon, meron tayong two equations in two unknowns, x at y. So, pwede natin masolve ngayon dito si x at y. So, let's say, substitution na lang. Substitute ko tong equation 1 na x equals sa 2y plus 1 dito sa equation 2. Okay, so magiging, itong x papalitan ko ng 2y plus 1. Then, copy the remaining equation, we have plus y equals 7. So, 2y plus y is 3y. And then, transpose ko tong 1 sa kabila equals 7 minus 1. So, 3y is equal to 7 minus 1 is 6. Then, divide both sides by 3 to solve for y. So, therefore, y is equal to 6 divided by 3 or 2. So, ngayon, pwede natin masolve si x using this equation 2. So, ba we have x plus yung y na nakuha natin na 2 equals 7. So, therefore, solving for x, we have x is equal to 7 minus 2. Transpose si 2. x is equal to 5. So, ano ngayon yung number kung x is 5 and y is 2? So, we have 10 times, ano yung y? 2 plus ano yung x? Which is 5. So, 10 times 2 plus 5 or simply 20 plus 5 or 25. So, therefore, the number is 25. Okay? Next, we have the sum of the digits of a 2-digit number is 9. The number is 12 times the 10th digit. Find the number. 
Okay, so let x uli be the units or ones digit and let y be the tens digit. So therefore, the number is equal to 10y plus x. So sabi sa first sentence, the sum of the digits of a two-digit number is 9. So therefore, pwede tayong bumuo ng equation na sum down ng digits ng two-digit numbers na yun. So add natin tong x plus y dapat equal daw sa 9. Then the number is 12 times the tens digit. So yung number daw, pwede ni represent natin, di ba? 10y plus x is so equal 12 times. So 12 times the tens digit which is yung y. So, 12 times y or simply 12y. Okay. So, therefore, meron ulit tayong two equations in two unknown x at y. So, so pwede natin itong masolve for x at y. So, let's say substitution na lang ulit. So, solve ko dito si x in terms of y. So, 9 minus y. Transpose si y. Then, substitute ko ito dito sa equation 2. So, 10y plus x is equal to 9 minus y equals 12y. So, solve natin for y. So, 10y minus y is 9y, right? Plus 9 equals 12y. So, transpose ko dito si 9y. 9 is equal to 12y minus 9y. So, we have 9 equals 12y minus 9y is 3y. Then, divide both sets by 3. To solve for y, we have y is equal to 9 divided by 3 or 3. So, therefore, pag sinolve natin si x using this value of y, we have x is equal to 9 minus y na 3. x is equal to 9 minus 3 or 6. So, therefore, the number is 10 times y is 3 plus x na 6. Or we have 30 plus 6 or 36. So, therefore, the number is 36. Okay? Next, we have... The sum of the digits of a two-digit number is 6. The number with the digits reversed is 3 times the tens digit of the original number. Find the original number. Okay, so again, let x be the units or ones digit and y be the tens digit. So, sabi sa first sentence, the sum of the digits of a two-digit number is 6. So, pag in natin yung digits, we have x plus y equal to 6. Equation 1. Then, the number with the digits reversed. Okay, so by the way, yung number nga pala, nakalimutan ko, equal siya sa 10y plus x uli. So, sabi, meron daw tayong condition na i -re reverse daw yung number. So, pag ni-reverse natin yung number... Bali, pagbabalita rin natin yung x saka y. So, magiging 10x plus y yung reverse number. So, sabi, the number with the digits reverse is 3 times the tens digit of the original number. So, yung reverse number daw, which is represented by this, sulat natin, 10x plus y is, so, equal 3 times the tens digit of the original number. So, 3 times, ano ba yung tens digit? Y, right? So, equal siya sa 3y. So, therefore, ito ngayon yung Second equation natin. So, pwede ngayon nating masolve itong two equations in two unknowns for x at y. So, sige, substitution na lang ulit. So, kung ngayon itong equation 1 for x in terms of y, we have transpose si y, x is equal to 6 minus y. Then, substitute ko dito. Sa equation 2, we have 10 times yung x is 6 minus y. Then, plus y equals 3y. So, distribute si 10, we have 60 minus 10y plus y equals 3y. So, 60, negative 10y plus y is negative 9y equals 3y. So, transpose ko dito si negative 9y sa right, magiging 60 is equal to 3y plus 9y. So, we have 60 is equal to 3y plus 9y is 12y. Divide both sets by 12 to solve for y. We have y is equal to 60 divided by 12 is 5. Okay, so therefore, meron na tayong value ng y. Para masolve si x, gamitin na rin tong equation. So, x is equal to 6 minus yung nakuha nating y na 5. So, we have x is equal to 6 minus 5 or 1. So, therefore, the number is 10 times y, which is yung 5, plus yung units digit na x, which is yung 1. 
So therefore, we have 10 times 5 plus 1 or 50 plus 1 or 51. So therefore, the number or the original number is 51. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video. Did you get problems? So, practice lang ulit kayo mag-solve ng this type of worded problems in algebra para ma-master nyo ito. Okay? So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na ito at maraming salamat sa panunood.